Okay, so it's time to break this down. I'm so sorry to see it go. I loved it so much, but I'll have to get another look again. So let's get started. And I just have a regular wipe that's all natural, um, eco-friendly. It's super, super soft, which is really important. You want a wipe that doesn't have a lot of texture in it, so you're not doing anything abrasive to the skin while you're taking off the makeup. Once I have it ready to go, all I'm gonna do is just start going through and breaking this guy down. Doesn't take much, a lot of it comes off in one wipe. So this is where that speed comes in. And that's what's really important. You want something that's gonna break the makeup down. That's what's gonna make your cleansing more effective and keep you from having to do this two and three times before you have clean skin. Still using my exact same wipe that I started with. And you saw when I went right across the lip, just one time and I got all that lipstick off. And mind you, that was lipstick that lasted all day long. I ate lunch, had some juice, had some coffee, had some tea. You know, I was nibbling all day long, had some apple wedges, <laughs> you name it. This is my fluff. The front, the back, I use both sides. Find a nice little clean space, wrap it around the finger, and get right in that eye area. Make sure I'm getting all that mascara off. You know, a lot of makeup likes to kind of creep up underneath that crease lid and get stuck there. Um, also, if you're a type of person who uses mascara on the lower lashes, you know, you can't forget to get those. Some clients have told me that they like to use a little cotton swab dip it in the solution and go right under. Again, this solution is very good to use in this area because it is hypoallergenic. So it's great for this sensitive eye area, you know, great for contact wearers, and just folks who have a, you know, easy irritation around that eye. Got a good amount off, so kind of like this Q-tip method. Feel pretty comfortable now that everything is off. If you want to make sure everything's really gone, go ahead and get another wipe. So here's my second wipe going through. And again, with this solution, you don't have to rub very hard. It really just lifts everything right off, which is great. So it's loosened up the makeup, removed a whole lot of it, and now put my skin in a really good place to go ahead with my cleanser and rinse all the debris away. And if you followed my other video, you saw where I switched stuff out for this coming season. Now it's a little bit colder. I'm using a cleanser that's more cream-based. In the summer, I'm using my cleanser that's more gel-based. Now we're in October and the temperature has dropped down, so I got my cream cleanser. We're gonna go ahead and rinse off. Okay, so. At this point, you're pretty much confident that your face is kind of clean, right? You can either go to bed or you can be a little bit OCD like me and just want to do one last check to make sure all the makeup is off. So it's a step I'm supposed to do anyway after you cleanse, you're supposed to tone, but I also like to use it as a test to make sure I really got everything off. Clean cotton, toner. Okay. Here's my cotton, nice and clean. So everything's off, I tested it, I feel good about it. I did all my steps to cleaning my skin and now I can go to bed. So if you wanna find out where you can get the instructions on how to make this solution, make your life a lot easier when taking off your makeup on the daily and when you're on the go, just go to www.miramiraskinlab.com. Go right to the products page and right there you'll see everything there for Take It Off. All the eBooks that you need to help get your makeup off and you can move on to the next. Talk to you guys later, bye.